I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. This video is part of what I believe is the most important series of videos that we do here at the Midas Touch Network. And here we highlight your stories that you share about the mass exodus away from the modern day Republican Party. Here is where you get to share in the comments of this YouTube video your own personal story, whether it was you who left the modern day Republican Party or you have a family, coworker, colleague, neighbor, or just somebody you know who was one once a Republican who is no longer part of the party because it's just become too extreme. It's become the MAGA Republican Party of Donald Trump. Share your story. And we also highlight here stories of independents and people who are not affiliated with political parties who either didn't vote or maybe would vote Democrat or Republican, depending on who the candidate is. But based on the fact that the Republican Party has become the party of Donald Trump and Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert and Paul Gosar and James Comer, and I could go on and on and on, that they are now voting Democratic, voting blue for our democracy. Democracy. And we read those stories here. We share those stories here. And we get thousands and thousands of responses to these videos. And I like to highlight some of those stories that are shared with us here. So let me share some of the stories that we just received in the last video where we asked for these comments. Lynn Harper writes, I used to be a MAGA hat wearing Trump supporting Republican until I transitioned two years ago and my friends turned on me and showed me the true face of the party. I'm a progressive now. Thanks, Lynn, for sharing. Lindy Sitar writes, I was a Republican until Orange Man. I was embarrassed to be associated with the GOP. Now everyone needs to vote them out to save our country. Ted Andropal writes, as a lifelong Republican, it broke my heart to leave the party. I served our country for 36 years. I can no longer abide with MAGA lies. After reading Trump's book before 2016, I can never support him. Read his book like I did. When someone tells you what they are, Listen, the Republican Party I was a proud member of no longer exists. After 42 years, I'm now a registered independent. K. Morris writes, I left the Republican Party when they nominated Trump as their candidate. I knew he was a cheat and a fly-by-night crook, and I was right. Susan McMahon writes, my husband, a retired Marine officer, and I, lifelong Republicans, did not vote for Trump in 2016. My husband said he was dangerous. By the time we got closer to 2020, we both went to our local town office and took our names off the Republican register. We could no longer be associated with the GOP. We are now independent, but we both have become more left-leaning on almost everything. We will never vote Republican again. They have become the party of such cruelty that it sickens us. We watch Midas Touch daily. It helps to keep us sane. Thank you all. Thank you, Susan, and thanks for watching the Midas Touch Network. Connie Anderson writes, my first time voting was the vote to not reelect Trump. I will vote again to keep him out. My vote counted. Vote blue no matter what. Local elections too. Marcy Christensen writes, I was a registered Republican when I switched to Democrat when Bernie ran for president in 2015. I am ashamed to admit that I was so angry with Hillary screwing over Bernie that I voted for Trump in 2016. I have regretted this ever since. I am a never Trumper and never Republican for the rest of my life. Thanks for sharing, Marcy. Yes, we writes, my best friend from college 40 years ago is a staunch Republican. We have mostly disagreed political, politically for four decades, but we agree wholeheartedly regarding Trump. She wants him out as badly as I do. Linda Rollins writes, 
I am a registered Republican, but I saw how bad the Republican Party was getting, and I fled. The GOPQ or the GQP is a threat to the world, and I see no pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Now I advocate and spread the word. Hashtag vote blue to save America. Attacko Craft writes, I was never Republican and never voted Republican. I was a libertarian, though, and their complicity toward MAGA since the election of Trump has truly disgusted me. Unless there is a complete overhaul in the Libertarian Party, I will never vote for them again. Brandon Brown writes, my mom was a Republican voter her whole life, although not really a political animal. She didn't like the Clintons, but Trump, quote, makes her skin crawl, end quote. Anytime she sees, hears him speaking, she is disgusted. She voted against him in 2020. So proud of my mom. Wanda Jo Chandler writes, I never voted or had any desire to dabble in educating myself about politics. That changed in 2020. At the age of 57, I voted for the first time. I voted blue all the way. Any party that promotes taking freedoms from any group of people is a huge red flag. I like that, though, slogan for the MAGA Republican Party. MAGA Republicans, huge red flag. Cynthia Swingle writes, Ben, I grew up in a GOP community. Democrats were few and far between. I was part of the GOP governor of Pennsylvania's family through marriage. To say I was surrounded by Republicans is an understatement. After 47 years of voting straight Republican ticket, I woke up, became a Democrat seven years ago. I am 72 and becoming a Democrat was the best decision I had made in my lifetime. Thanks for sharing, Cynthia. C.D. Reimer writes, I was a registered Republican for a great many years. I got tired of being called Rhino and switched to Democrat. That was before the Trump circus came to town. Sherry Murphy writes, my aunt was like 105 when Trump was elected. Her immediate response was, quote, we've gone to hell in a handbasket. My mom is now 101 and still involved. She can't believe others actually still listen to Trump. Thanks for sharing, Sherry Murphy. And thanks for sharing all of your stories. Uh, in the comment section below, if you have a story you want to share, a friends, family, coworkers, anybody you know who has a similar experience, please share it in the comments below and you could respond to the other comments. Let's have a conversation in this pro-democracy community and do me this favor as well. Share this video on all of your social media platforms. Share this video with friends, colleagues, coworkers, anybody you know. Send it to them in text messages or emails. Let them know what is going on. We've been analyzing this mass exodus here at the Midas Touch Network uh, before all the media was doom and gloom about the red wave uh, during the midterms. And we were explaining that the fundamentals of the modern day political paradigm have changed. I know the media likes to say on the one side, there's liberals and progressives uh, who are Democrats. On the other side, you have Republicans who are conservatives. That is the wrong framing of the issue. On one side, you have a pro-democracy community comprised of liberals, progressives, real conservatives, people who actually have conservative beliefs, uh, people who aren't affiliated with political parties, independents. And in this pro-democracy community, it's okay that we disagree with each other. It's okay that we may have different approaches to problem solving, but ultimately we want to solve the problems of the United States of America, to make America progress, to improve this country. We love our country in the pro-democracy coalition. We love our constitution, but we don't show that love with a simple performative gesture of always just waving a flag or holding a constitution. We show we love our flag and that we love our constitution through our actual conduct being very serious members of this democracy who try to contribute 
real intelligent thoughts and ideas to make our country a better place. That is the pro-democracy community. On the other side, you have the MAGA Republican fascist community. It is not conservative. Their views are not small government conservative. They want to use big government controlled by them, people like Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates and Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis to take away people's freedoms as part of their fascistic agenda. And we need to call that out. And that is not by labeling that as conservative. We know that here in the Midas Touch Network and the data that we receive is reflective of the fact that the American people recognize that as well, even if large media networks do not want to acknowledge it. That's why I think the Midas Touch Network is growing at the pace it is. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you share your experiences in the comments below. Remember to share this video. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to the Midas Touch YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Midas Touch audio podcast. And you can also check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch as well. P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Midas Touch. Hit subscribe on our YouTube channel and thank you for watching. Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.